Welcome amazing friends and in this tutorial you are going to learn how to simplify this kind of matte olympiad okay now this is your radical expression and as usual we know we are not supposed to use calculator so I'm going to teach you how to do this it's just very easy and don't forget to tell us how it helps in the comment now to answer this we are going to begin with solution now what do you do this is what we are giving and it's always to the power of 10 now see what to do okay we're going to remind ourselves of this exponential rule that says a raised to power m raised to the power of n is a raised to power m n okay the powers will always multiply so this rule is going to guide us in simplifying this now what do we do we bring this down we have root 2 minus 1 now for this 10 we know too well that 10 is the same as 5 multiplied by 2 so we're going to use this to simplify okay now this 10 we can now have it as raise this to the power of 2 and then raise to the power of 5 now this is possible because of this rule did you see that so that when you multiply this it gives you back 10 so you have not changed anything now what do you do again simplify this inside okay and this is now raised to the power of two so this is your binomial of degree two so how do you simplify such just remember that a minus b raised to power two all in bracket is equal to a squared minus two a b plus b squared so this is going to help us now what do we do we are we know that this is a and this is our b so we're going to have it as root 2 will be raised to power 2 minus 2 we multiply our a is root 2 okay and also multiplied by our b is 1 then plus our b is 1 so we have 1 squared and all these are raised to the power of this 5 i hope you are with me there now what do you do again you simplify so this is going this square we can't see the root okay so it can see the root we are going to have 2 then minus multiply this one two we multiply one to give us two so we have two root two plus one squared is one multiplied two times to give us one and all are raised to the power of five i hope that is clear now what do you do again keep simplifying two plus one gives us three so we have three minus two to two root two is raised to the power of five now at this point how else do we simplify this power of five let me also remind you of this rule of your exponent which says that each time you have a raised to the power of m is multiplying a raised to the power of m it simply means you add the power provided the basis are the same so it's going to give us a raised to the power m plus m now how do we apply this here we also know it that 5 is the same thing as 2 plus 3. Yes. So if 5 is the same thing as 2 plus 3, we are going to use it for easy simplification. So from here, we are going to now have it as, this is 3 minus 2 root 2, is raised to the power of 2, then multiplied by, repeat the same, so we have 3 minus 2 root 2, is raised to the power of 3 these two i remember that when you add the power you see that the bases are the same just this base so if you are simplifying this you pick the same base okay obeying this and then add the power so when you add 2 and 3 according to what you have here it gives you 5 so you have not changed anything now what do you do let's simplify this first okay now simplifying this obeying this rule we are going to have so we have at first let's work with this so we're going to have 3 minus 2 root 2 raised to the power of 2 okay so this is going to give us this is a and this is b so we're going to have 3 squared use this minus 2 we multiply 3 then multiply 2 root 2 plus this 2 root 2 will be raised to the power of 2. I hope you are still with me there. Now, simplify this. 3 raised to the power of 2 is 3 multiplied 2 times to give us 9. 
if you multiply this it will give you 6 and this will give you 12 so we have 12 root 2 okay plus for you to simplify this it means 2 root 2 multiplied 2 root 2 so 2 we multiply 2 to give us 4 okay now when you multiply this it gives you 2 i hope you are with me now if you simplify again you are going to now have 9 minus 12 root 2 4 multiplied by 2 will give us 8 so we have 8 these two are constant add them 9 plus 8 will give us 17 so this is what we have okay now for simplifying this this is what we got we are going to keep it let's now expand this now to expand this we are going to now have so we have second 3 minus 2 root 2 raised to the power of 3. Now, this is your binomial of degree 3. Just remember that for every a minus b raised to the power of 3, it is always a with the raised to the power of this 3. Then switch the sign to subtraction. Introduce a coefficient of 3. Decrease this power to 2. Then introduce b. Switch it again to addition. Introduce constant, reduce this part to 1, increase this one, it will be b squared. Then switch it again, you have b cubed. Okay, so this is going to be our guide. Now, using this, this is our a and this is b. So we're going to have, from here we have, 3 raised to power 3 minus 3. We multiply, our a is 3, so we have 3 squared. Multiply that, our b is 2 root 2, then plus... We still have 3, our a is 3, multiplied by our b is 2 root 2, so you raise it to the power of 2. I hope you are with me there. Then minus this b, you also raise it to the power of 3. Interesting. Now keep simplifying it. 3 raised to the power of 3 is 3 multiplied 3 times to give us a 27. Now this is going to give us 3, we multiply 3 raised to the power 2 is 3 times 3, giving us 9. So we have 9 multiply 2 root 2 plus. This is giving us 3 times 3 is 9. Is multiplying this. This will give us, this square will affect 2 and also affect the root. So 2 raised to the power 2 is 2 times 2, giving us 4. And when you square this, it gives you 2. So we're going to have 4, we multiply 2. I hope you are with me there minus this will be 2 will be raised to the power 3 and that will give us 8 so we have 8 then when you have 2 when you have root 2 raised to the power of 3 it means root 2 raised to the power will be the root 2 will multiply three times and when this multiplies it gives you 2 then you return this did you see what we did there so simplifying this now we're going to have so let's take this off okay so that it doesn't get us confused so simplifying this, you are going to now have 27. So multiply this, you have 27 times this gives us 54. So we have 54 root 2 plus multiply this 36 times that will give us 72. Then minus this will give us 16 root 2. Okay. So simplify this again. You can add this because they are constant. So when you add this, it's going to give us a 99 i hope you are with me there then subtract this you have negative 54 and negative 16 is going to give us negative 70 root 2 did you see that so we're going to now have so this is what we got for expanding this okay now we are going to bring these two back remember we have it that just recall that we have it that 3 minus 2 root 2 raised to the power of 5 is equal to 3 minus 2 root 2 raised to the power of 2, okay, multiplied by 3 minus 2 root 2 raised to the power of 3. I hope you've not forgotten. Now, this now will now give us, remember what we got for this is this. So we're going to replace it to have 17 minus 12 root 2, okay? For this, I hope you are with me, multiplied by what we got for this is this. So we have 99 minus 70 root 2. I hope you are with me there. Now we are going to now expand this. I hope you are there. So to expand this, 
this is giving us so we're going to use 17 to multiply the whole of this 99 minus 70 root 2 okay just watch it this will multiply this this will multiply then this multiplies this and this multiplies this did you see that so we're going to have this is negative 12 root 2 is multiplying 99 minus 70 root 2 okay so we expand this now to have 17 multiply 99 so we have 17 and 99 this is 63 we have 3 take 6 this is 9 plus this we have 15 63 we write 3 take 6 this will give us 9 plus this we have 15 so add it you have 3 8 6 and 1 so for multiplying this you are having 1683 I hope you are with me there. Now, for multiplying this, this will multiply this. So, to have 17, we multiply 7. And this will give us 49. Take 4. This is 7 plus. This will give us 11. Add this zero. So, you are going to have minus 1,190 root 2. Okay. So, let's multiply this. You are going to now have negative this multiply so we have 12 multiplied by 99 this will give us 18 take one 9 plus 1 will give us 10 this will give us 18 8 take one 9 plus 1 will give us 10 so we have 8 this is 8 this is 1 and 1 so we have minus 1188 root 2 okay then when this negative multiplies negative it gives us positive so we're going to have this we multiply this so we have seven 12 multiply 70 okay so 12 multiply 7 so we're having 12 by 7 this is 14 take 1 7 plus this is 8 so we're having 840 okay and root 2 we multiply root 2 to give us 2 i hope you're with me there now we simplify again to now have 1683 minus 1190 root 2 minus 1188 root 2. If you multiply this, it's giving us 0. This is 8, and this will give us 16. So add it up, we are going to have. Now let's add times that are the same. This and this are the same, okay? They are constant. Remember, this is addition. So this will give us 10. We are having, add this, you have 3, okay? This is 16, right? 6, take 1. This is 12 plus 1, 3. We have 13. This will give us 3. Did you see that? Now let's add this. We are going to have negative of, add this, it will give you 8, okay? 9 plus this is 17. 7, take 1. Add plus this, it will give you 2 plus 1 is 3. And 1 plus this will give you 2. So return your roots, okay? Remember, you are adding this because they have the same radicands. And this is what we have. And this becomes our answer for simplifying this. You observe that the power of 10 has been removed. And we did this without calculator. And I hope you really learned a lot. Let us know how much in the comments. And don't forget to share for more people to learn the skills we just displayed. If this gives you joy, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips. See you in our next class and bye-bye.